two dollars do i need it no do i want it yes they're trying to budget i've told them that i'm willing to spend 15 dollars on their items i just am a collector at heart and need to not collect anything else in my life though this one is a beautiful print or they could each make a pie in it simultaneously three because there are three kids i asked in one of my last thrift with me videos about a couple things and you guys were great down in the comments telling me what these things were that i didn't know how to use even when it doesn't work it can still drive away yeah because you can still push it this is a green toy oh my gosh we love green toys i'm having some vague childhood memories flushing flushing flooding back to me and told me that they were done at the movies so my feet in this cart need to not stop until we get to the register oh the dress is no 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 oh somebody was here in real time i would ask you to come and just take my hand and guide me along I need to leave it. I need to walk away. I need to walk away. Go, 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 go. Ooh, one of my favorites, Mommy's Mini. What I love even more is that when I found this on the rack, she was like, I have to have that. I love that she embraces the fact that she's my mini. I love that you're gonna get to see the first half of this video without me shopping without my kids. And then you can directly compare it to this last half because uh, it's a different vibe for sure. Hello, guess where we are? We are at Goodwill. We are going thrifting today. I am kind of impromptu thrift shopping today. My mom has taken my daughter to the movies and I'm just waiting until the movie is done to pick my daughter up and then we will head home. But in the meantime, I figured, why not take a little trip into Goodwill and just see what we can find? I think the only thing I'm really consciously looking for is some inexpensive kitchen items our kids have a fort in the woods that they are very passionate about and they like to treat it as though it's a fully functional home so they have asked recently if they can have some kitchen items so i thought this is probably a perfect place to find some kitchen items at a low cost so they can just be outdoor toys for the kids so other than that i don't think there's anything else that i'm really intentionally looking for but that is the joy of thrift shopping you sort of just figure out what you need because it speaks to you while you're in there here we go it's a nice sunny day here in maine which i am enjoying very much because we haven't exactly had a lot of that lately Starting out over here in the hand-picked area, these items are usually a little more expensive because they are considered more worth it or more of an antique, like these older Pyrex dishes. This one's 20, this one's 15. I know a lot of people love those and I'm not gonna throw any shade to that. I just am a collector at heart and need to not collect anything else in my life, though this one is a beautiful print. But I don't have enough dish space to just collect Pyrex dishes. So much of me wants to, but I need to not do that. But this is what I'm seeing over here for now. This is adorable. This one looks like it actually would function too. $25 there. <laughs> That's too cute. I spotted this piece of furniture. 25 feels like a good price for this. Doesn't look like it has any drawers or anything like that, but I mean, the top's a little wobbly, but it feels, when you move it like this, it's not. So I think you could probably tighten up the top and it would be good to go. I'm not really in the market for a furniture piece of that shape, but I do like it. I was looking at all of the things over here and I almost missed this. $15 for this really large serving tray with kind of like faux, I assume that's faux leather handles. I'd like to know more about it, like brand maybe? Okay, we're gonna get no info. There's nothing at all on the back, no identifiable marks. I mean, seems like decent quality, but don't know much about it. Also don't really think that I need it, uh, but I do like it. So there's that. I do not know much about these but they are very detailed and intricate. They are 3D, they look like they're made out of paper. 
$25 for that one. $25 for this scene as well. This one looks a little bit sad. I think this one also looks a little sad, actually. This kid looks like he's getting hurt. And over here, this guy looks like he's being a bit of a bully. So I don't really know if I like those, actually. I like the idea of them, but not the actual scenes that are there. Ooh, this is an Imagine X toy. Looks like it's been colored on, but I bet that would come off. These are really rugged toys. Our boys and our daughter, she plays with them too, have quite a few pieces in the Imagine X set. That one doesn't look like it has any of its accessories with it, but um, it looks like the dinosaur himself is at least complete and he is $20. Very colored on. New York China. That's not what's in there now, it's empty, but somebody had some New York China and it was fragile. Oh my goodness, a Littlest Pet Shop item, $6 for this. I wish it was easier to find the Littlest Pets that go with these little houses because I think Charlie would really enjoy them. Um, these were more of like an in thing when my sister was young and I'm nine years older than her if you don't know, so. I played with her with these and I had my own little collection of them, uh, but I was a little older for them. You've got to tell me in the comments, did you have Littlest Pet Shops? Did you play with them? What is going on over here? This is very ornate. That is a very unique lamp. It is listed at $50. It's a hand-picked item, so I think it just got moved over here. It should be in the hand-picked area. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I would definitely not pay $50. I don't even know if I'd pay 5 But it is unique, so if it is your vibe, then it, it very well may be worth $50. These are $10. They're long. There appears to be three of them, and they are heavy. Whatever these are made of, oh gosh. I'm going to knock them down. We don't need to break any any glass here. Um, whatever they're made of, they're solid. I don't have any need for those, but paint them up or even scratch them up a little more and just make it look intentional and it's a good price. It's a seriously old sewing machine in here. Love it. Some hamster cages, $10. I had a hamster. He started his life out in a cage that looked very much like this, but he would chew the bars and then he got so chubby that he was getting stuck in these circles. So it was the best setup for him. How much was this? Um, I see nothing on the cover. It's probably on the bottom. And I'm not really interested in it, so I guess you're not going to get to know. Sorry. If you've thrifted with me before, then you know I tend to always check out the wall decor. That is a beautiful print. Could easily paint the frame and update it a little. Um, but this can be a great way to just find some nice big frames if you are wanting to frame some of your own art. Or, look at that. It can be a great way to just find some art for your walls. Uh, no details on that. I found a lighthouse picture here a couple months ago now and was in love with it exactly as is. Purchased it, brought it home, hung it on the wall, it is still there in our entryway even. That's how much I loved it. It's one of the first things you see when you enter our home. And I am pleased as punch by it. Oh, they do have their larger area over here. Oh, but wait. This kind of caught my eye. I don't know why. A combination of the frame and the picture. Oh, there's even one that kind of matches. This is four dollars and I don't know what the discount color is yet for today so gray could be it for all I know okay I don't have any idea where that is some things still in packaging back there oh about the BW I do have gum in my mouth so if you're hearing that in my mic I'm sorry I don't normally chew gum but I had a uh, Italian from a place called Sam's and they are infamous for oh nothing back there infamous for loading their sandwiches with onions <laughs> what a vibe 
whatever. And so I had onion breath going on and I needed to work on that. That one could even kind of go with those. A little bit different vibe. Oh, that's sweet. This is the one I was one I wanted to get to. This is very intricate. That is so cute. I imagine someone made it to look like someone's house. That is not what my house looks like, but that is a beautiful piece. And then I was spying this one, this floral. I don't know who Stan Mitchell is. Uh, I don't like the frame at all, but I really like that floral pattern in there. And this is six dollars. Um, I might just stick it in my cart and think on it. I don't really even know where I would want to put it, but I want to find out more about Stan Mitchell and then I'm going to make some decisions. Oh, guy golfing back there. Okay, okay. We have some fishies in the sea over here. Oh, look, another lighthouse. Another lighthouse. I don't know that that's an actual lighthouse anywhere. Um, the last one I got was an actual portrait. Oh, this is 20. Barry, Barry's Stationer's Waterville, Maine. That's a beautiful piece, and the frame is not bad either. I do not need it, and so I'm not going to spend, what did I say, $20 on it, but... Oh, look, there's a signature in the corner. I want to find out more about Stan Mitchell. Oh, look, you can even find cute classroom decor here. Ooh, what is this place? Oh, I don't know, but it looks like a place that I would like to visit. Over here we have some large mirrors. Oh, and we have a painting in there, or at least a picture. That's very beautiful too. That's quite detailed. Look how crisp that's showing up on the camera. Oh, that's really pretty. And the frame on that is nice too. What does that price say way down there in the corner? $20. Okay, that was heavy to get out. Some something there that doesn't really tell me much. Uh, but there she is in all her glory. She's really beautiful. Pauline something Campanelli. Pauline something Campanelli, do you see that? Anyway, beautiful piece. I don't really think I can think of a place for it, but it's beautiful. I don't even know exactly what this building is, but this is enormous. This is more than half my height, and it is very wide as well. And it's only $25. Like I said, I don't know a thing about that, but, ooh, is that a cutting mat? Crafting girl needs to know. Ooh, a rotary cutting mat. $10, that's a big cutting mat. I might consider this. Whoa, oh, it was originally, Thirty-six ninety-five, and if it ends in ninety-five cents, that means it's probably old because nowhere charges ninety-five cents anymore. I mean, not just ninety-five cents, but you know. Just to give you an idea of exactly how large that cutting mat is, goodness gracious, that is worth it to me for ten dollars. So this, I'm thinking, is a definite. It's a little gross, but we'll wipe it up. Oh, a little ring holder. That's ornate and pretty, $2. Okay, on the other side of the mirrors is where the large artwork is. Oh, some silverware. Oh, that's an elephant. That's beautiful. It looks like it's still like new in wrapping. Where is the price on this? Oh, it's light. Must no more. Oh. oh, it's got a couple little dimples there, but beautiful, beautiful. I just don't see. Oh, there's the price. It is $15. That's a steal. Okay, well, they're getting the mirrors and the art a little intertwined and mixed up, but whatever. I think it's probably just all the large things. Ooh. Ooh, that's very beautiful. I love stained glass. Again, don't know where I would put that, but I definitely enjoy it. I wonder if 
Oh gosh, trying to be gentle here about. Mm. What in the world is that? Salvador Dali, something elephants. Going about my business, looking at the pictures, and this dude's sticking out, looking at me. Oh, he's a dog toy. He is a, a stingray dog toy. What a place to find him. All right, the pink barbs and tags are the ones that are 50% off today. And what does the bottom say? Blue items are $1.50 on Sundays. It's not Sunday. Per usual, I'm taking a glance at the men's attire because Brandon just can always use work shirts. He's, he does okay keeping his clothing clean. Um, but he really just, you know, he does his job and if that means he gets dirty along the way, then he gets dirty. So I'm just always, every time I go, I just look for additional shirts for him because we're basically at the stage where uh, he can't have too many. So we're just gonna glance through. He really likes the, kind of like this, they're like golf tees almost. I don't know that he would love that color and that's $10, so that's a no from me. But um, yeah, that's what we're perusing for. Collars are good, collars are uh, desirable because they give a slightly more professional look. $10, well I wish it was Sunday because that would be $150. Uh, at $10 it is not going to come home with us. Six is about what I'm willing to spend on a single shirt. <gasps> purple! I would love to get him a purple shirt. That would be fantastic. Look at that, six. Uh, that one had a few pills on it, so let's see about this one. Still six. Are those pills? Or pulls? I don't know. Are these the same brand? They're not. They're not at all the same brand. But they're really similar in color. What does this one have? That one has all of its buttons, but what was I seeing? Oh, up here. Yeah, that's a couple little faint pull pilly pull things. Mmm, I don't know. I'm gonna skip it for now. Ooh, Under Armour. Ten. No thanks. Mmm, what's this orange one? Ooh, Under Armour. Ten, but it is pink, so it's gonna be down to five dollars. So, let's give this a little, a little moment here. Let's check it out. Red. Reddish orange. That's fine. Is this really large, though? Because that's looking... Huge. That looks more like it was a uh, extra large, which that looks too big for Brandon. That's too bad. Um, not really a fan of cotton. I don't really love stripes on him. Being picky now. Oh, I like this shirt a lot. I don't know that he would wear it, but I do like it. If it was clearance, I'd probably get it for him. Not for work, but just just cause, just so he could have it. This looks like we're into the striped land down here, so. Oh, one more Under Armour. Is that an extra large, too? <sighs> so hard to know. So hard to know. <sighs> and this one has a pull on it. But I love that pink. I love when my boys wear pinks and purples. Uh, it's looking like a no on the shirts. Darn. I'm going to try pants next. All right, let's give this a go. Ooh. Maybe starting off strong, these greenish ones. Six is not bad. These are looking like good quality, but I can't find the tag to be sure that they are the size that I need them to be. Why can I never find the tag in these men's pants? This happens to me every time. <gasps> Here it is. They're L.L. Bean. You know what? I thought they were. All right, L.L. Bean. But where's the size? Just tell me. Tell me the size. Oh, I finally found it. 33 wide, 29 in length. That, that doesn't work doesn't work 32 32 over here all day long not me him but you know joggers I don't think he would wear joggers I like them those do not look like they're his size at all but I like them I don't think he would uh, not a fan of cargo pants okay let's see anything 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 today I was really digging the feel and the material of these pants they are under armor but they are a 32 30 which doesn't work. Another great pair that are of the feeling that he, like a stretchiest, uh, oh, I do not like that actually, uh, but it doesn't really matter because they're 3230. He's also a big sweater wearer in the cooler months, and uh, 
the kids call him Mr. Rogers at school, and it's pretty funny. If you are not aware, he teaches at the college level, so they're young adults, though, you know, here I am calling them kids, um, but they're young adults. What's the price on this one? Six dollars. I think I like that one. Let's see, what's going on at the bottom, though? We're real cinchy there. I think it's all right. I wish I could get him to wear a pea coat. I love pea coats. He can't even stand the word pea coat. I own a pea coat and he just cannot handle it when I say I'm gonna wear my pea coat. He's like, can't you just call it something else? Oh, how interesting. I thought this was solid glass and then I moved it and saw the flower move inside and noticed the air bubble in it. I did not even know what is going on here. That is very interesting and for six dollars it can be yours. Oh, a legit Scentsy plug-in. Scentsy. Uh, no idea on cost. This $6 trinket is a very interesting thing. So you can put a picture on the top and then you open it and it's got all these individual little like books where you can put pictures. Wow. I enjoy how they try to make the end caps each a color. So that's the green end cap. This is the red end cap. We've got blue and pink down there. Ooh, I have some of these baskets at home and really enjoy them. Only two dollars. I'm gonna consider it. Don't know that I actually need it, but I love that it matches. And I like to have baskets on hand for when I do projects at home, so this could be a good one for that. Also eyeing this one because I have some very similar to this too, but they don't have that little tab and that's actually really throwing me, so that's gonna go back. But I think I'm gonna put this one in the cart. A Fiskars paper cutter for four dollars. If I didn't already have one the same size, I'd grab that up because that's a great brand and you can always purchase new little cutters if that gets dull or is dull when you purchase it at a secondhand place like this, but great quality brand. One of the ladies I follow on Facebook who also loves to thrift was talking about how doing back to school shopping at Goodwill is a great idea and I support that at this point. $2. There is a notebook in there as well as some tab dividers, a folder, and it looks like a couple of those like plastic sleeve things. That's a lot. Oh my gosh, look, notes, homework. So somebody had this all set up. You could easily peel those off and you've got like just a ready to go binder. It looks like it's never been used and there's actually another one here. So obviously you're not probably going to find the exact same thing at your store, but a lot of these items are in really good shape and have either not been used or hardly used two dollars for this it's in great shape look at this a ton of blank paper dividers these sleeves all of it brand new ready to go so look at that stack of binders before you do any back to school shopping at brand new stores check out your local goodwill or other thrifting locations what's this Ooh, it's like a trunk organizer that's fun that's fun, and that closed up real small. Look at that. It had that little uh, stretchy thing on there. Ooh, this is only $4. I don't think I need it, but I like it. Another example of office supplies, back to school stuff. Look at all of those folder files. $4. That is a heap ton. I don't think I know what this is. Slide projectors. I just, tell me about how this works because I asked in one of my last Thrift With Me videos about a couple things and you guys were great down in the comments telling me what these things were that I didn't know how to use. So, uh, holds 140 slides, like what kind of slides? Science? Scientific slides? No. What kind of slides? What, what do I do with this? There's three more too. This is a lovely item. It looks magnetic. Little calendar, $4. I was also spying this up here. It's a little carousel-esque desk organizer. And it was originally $8 at TJ Maxx, but $4 here at Goodwill. And look at this, $6 for this whole set of play money. So good for a classroom or a daycare or something like that. There's a Halloween basket out. Oh my gosh. They are just $6. They are, they're rushing it a little. Calm down. 
I know this is not longer burger, but I just want to know if there is any brand. No. I'm a little bit snobby about baskets. If you've been around on my channel for any of my other thrift with me's, then you know. I will accept any basket that I feel like is good quality and is going to serve whatever purpose I have in mind for it, but I will just buy a longer burger basket and find a purpose for it because I adore longer burger baskets. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little... Oh, these are cute. I have a little boy. What size? 2T. Nope. Not the right size for my little boy. He's five. And I see nothing that even resembles a longer burger basket, so... We're gonna move on from the baskets for today, because do I need any baskets? No, I really do not. I just love baskets, and I always have to look. Oh, but I should look over here on the crafting side of things. Ooh, all the yarn. Hey, if you watched my craft room, um, like the assembly of my craft room, what did I call that? Do-it-yourself craft room? I have a container where I was saying pom-poms would look great in it, but I didn't have any. I really still don't even need any, so I'm not going to buy this, but $4 for a half a pound of pom-poms. I don't know how many pom-poms that works out to, but a lot, clearly a lot. So, and they look brand new and packaged. So, um, yeah, if I truly was passionate about pom-poms, I don't know why this is in the crafting section, but Ultra Moisturizing Bath Bombs. I feel like I've heard of this. Is that a good brand? I don't know. There are more creative memory things here. The last time I was here, they had some. This is $6. It is a Star Paper Punch Mini Star Maker. That's really fun. I like their um, paper punches, and then you can store them in this adorable little star-shaped container. I do actually make quite a few cut out cut out things like this but I use my Cricut a lot so I'm gonna leave it but I'm tempted ooh this is something one of my friends does it holds a tumbler so you can uh, spin it and decorate it neat what did I see for a price six dollars if you have a creative child in your life or even if you are creative this can be a great place to find little kits like this that someone just didn't do or whatever caused them to end up here but they're usually a fraction of the cost and often aren't even opened and you can usually open them to just double check that they have all their pieces but it could be a great way to get some crafty things for those crafty souls in your life look at this pile of brand new canvases six dollars I actually don't know if that's the best price even the biggest one is six dollars though so maybe oh Look at these baskets, those are so fun. Oh, but it's one of their like new items. I don't really like purchasing their new items. I don't feel good about that. I don't feel like I'm giving something a second life. And I just, I don't love that. $2 for these, uh, these, these flat canvases versus the canvases like that. I, I don't have the words to describe the difference, but there's the visual for you. <laughs> A whole slew of itty bitty beads for jewelry making purposes, $2. I just got Charlie a whole jewelry making kit and I did get a good deal on it on Amazon but it was not $2 and that's a lot of little beads. Ooh, fancy, look at this little spice holder. Nice, my spices are all set in their little spice cabinet but um, that's fun, $6, never seen that. What brand is it? Mm, what does this say? What does this say? Kitchenart.com. Kitchenart.com. Okay. I wonder if this was a gift to a Hannaford employee or something. I don't even know. But it's a cute little box and it comes with silverware. Good wheat, it says. Okay, I just got the call that the movie is done and my little lady is ready for me to go pick her up. I did not get to do all the perusing that I would have wanted to have done, but I knew coming into this situation that I might get interrupted and that is okay. So as I'm saying goodbye to you, I'm just scanning this area, trying to multitask, see if there's anything amazing that just screams, take me home, not feeling it, uh, not feeling anything screaming at me. So I think I'm going to take my cart and I think I actually might only purchase this. I don't know what to do with the basket. Do I need to spend $2 on it? Probably not. I love this print, but 
that um, I don't really know where I would put it, number one. And number two, um, I don't like the frame. So I would be spending $6 on just the print and I, I don't know, I don't have time to look anything up about him. So I might be leaving an absolute gem. I think it looks pretty nice there with the pink shelf. So that's gonna be its new residence for a moment. Oh, I'm still debating on that basket. $2, $2. Maybe I just do it. Do I just do it? All right, quick peruse. Real fast perusal. Some cute stuff. Nothing that I need to stop for. Oh, the kids' toys always get me. This is a green toy. Oh my gosh, we love green toys. I can't say enough about them. Such good quality. They hold up like nobody's business. $2. They're made from recycled um, milk jugs. Just great quality. Great company. Doing great things. Would highly recommend that. L.L. Bean, what is this? Takaradi tiles? What are Takaradi tiles? I need to know. Okay, I don't, sadly, I don't have time to find out what those are. I don't know. They weren't as exciting upon first glimpse as I was expecting, so we're just gonna keep going. This is another one of those Imagine X toys. This one looks like it might be missing some pieces. I don't know. Again, great quality. We've had them for years. Like them, recommend that brand if you're a newer parent and haven't tried them and are looking for some quality toys that are gonna last. Oh, this reminds me of one of my best friends. She adores Toy Story. Woody. Oh my goodness, is that an authentic Cabbage Patch baby? It looks like it. It's all bundled up in a additional set of clothes, but it looks like the real deal. I had some Cabbage Patch babies growing up. How about you? Did you have any too? Oh my gosh, still bundled together, $2 for this Hallmark fruitcake and eggnog. Magnetic plush, better together. That's really cute. The, the, he has a little magnet there, and uh, the fruitcake has got an, a, a magnet somewhere. Oh, right there. And they're gonna magnetize together because they're better together. That's adorable. Ooh, Squishmallows are loved in our house. These flips are not our jam though. Um, but this is the first one I've seen at a Goodwill in a long time, and $2 is a good price. Okay, I have to go. I said several minutes ago at this point that my mom had called and told me that they were done at the movies. So my feet in this cart need to not stop until we get to the register. Do not let me stop. I'm not even looking at where I'm going. Oh, the dress is no, 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 no. Oh, but I saw this and it's cute. I don't even know if it's my size. It's $6. I just, I can't find any information about it but it is really cute. Oh, the dresses, the dresses. I'm just all about dresses these days. Stop, go to the register, go to the register. If somebody was here in real time, I would ask you to come and just take my hand and guide me along. Ooh, loft, so cute. Oh, take me to the register. We're going in the wrong direction for this. Oh, that's cute too. J. Jill, this isn't good. I always need to just come to my clothing first because this is what I do. I do foolish things. It's time to go and <gasps> that's cute. I don't even think that's a dress. I think it's, oh, I think it's like a dust, a long tank top. I really like it. I don't have time to try it on. I need to leave it. I need to walk away. I need to walk away. Go, 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 go. Uh oh, this is killing me. I could always come back after I pick up my daughter, but really I should just go home. I don't know, guys. How do you do that? How do you, like I told myself when I came in, I might get interrupted, and if I did, I had to be okay with that, and I'm not really, not really okay with it. And at this point, I'm moving through the store so quickly, whoever I'm passing probably thinks I'm crazy and that I'm talking to myself. All right, we're gonna check out. All right, for $12.66, I am now the proud owner of a gray basket and this gigantic gray cutting mat thing. I'd say that's uh, $13 well spent, and that's our final haul, and that's gonna be it for this thrift with me. Thanks so much for joining me. Cannot wait to see you in the next one. We will definitely thrift together again. It's the next day and we're back at Goodwill because yesterday I completely forgot all about getting or even looking at kitchen stuff for the fort for these guys. So they worked hard this morning doing some chores around the house, laundry, so crazy. <laughs> laundry and such so that they could earn a little outing to Goodwill to look about some kitchen wear for their fort. 
So that's our primary goal in Goodwill today. This guy's just waking up, so he's a little grouchy-ish maybe. We are out of the car and we are moving. Oh gosh, I got low battery. Good thing this is going to be quick. All right, small people, let me teach you my ways. The pink stickers are 50% off today. Okay, pink stickers. So that means we want an extra look for items that have pink stickers because they'll be 50% off. And that's a good savings. Naturally, I get distracted, but I like the front doors on that. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're here hunting. It could be like a good teapot, but it's yellow. Mm. Well, we can keep it in mind, but we really want those pink stickers. We have not found, I've only found one pink sticker in this whole area so far. This is really silly that these are priced separately because they literally go together. Oh, that's a cute one. That's a good price. That's purple. Look at this one. Very nice. Yeah, should we get Cast this or iron. is it too small? Two, so that's six. We don't know how much this is. We don't know how much this is. We don't know how much this is. They're trying to budget. I've told them that I'm willing to spend $15 on their items. So they're currently looking at tongs and that sort of thing. You should look at plastic ones because wooden ones will break down over time, especially since they're going to be outside. What, tongs? Yeah, just plastic. Plastic stuff in general. What's an ice cream scooper? I don't think we're gonna have ice cream there. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> I mean, we could. We're here. Can you open our <laughs> All right, we're gonna put definites at one end, maybes at one end. Okay. We talked about these dishes. They're Pyrex even, and they're pink stickers, so they're down to two dollars. Okay, this, this is definitely. Those are the definitelys. Those are the maybes. Oh, yeah. This is definitely. So they talked. They got three of these little Pyrex dishes. They're down to two dollars each, and they're this, going to either use them as this, plates, this is, or they could each make a pie in it simultaneously. Three because there are three kids. Colin is very interested in this thing. We're we're thinking about it. Colin wants to show off this tree topper. That is sparkly and pretty, huh? So the kids have settled on $18 worth of items. Eli's gonna kick in $2. I agreed that I would go up from 15 to 16. And these are the items that they have chosen with their money. That's a good little haul for their uh, fort. How much? Eli just said they're now deciding if they wanna add this in. And he said, oh, it's Pyrex. Having it be Pyrex makes him feel a little bit better, he said. It's $2, I think, I so. Yeah, he's <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I should be proud that he's about brands or um, not, but Pyrex is a good quality, so that's up to you. Which one do you think you're going to use more? Probably that we don't really need a measure. Okay, they're sticking with their original items thus, thus far. That's a match. What a funky and neat. Imagine, imagine if you found that um, like on bottle hunting or something hold. That would be really cool. Uh, it's from 1-800-Flowers originally. It's $2. Do I need it? No. Do I want it? Yes. I'm going to think on it. This bag of wooden train tracks is a great oh, price. $4. Can you put it on? <laughs> hold on. That's several pieces and several good quality trains in there. Four dollars! You already know my love for these guys if you have seen any of my previous Thrift With Me's. This one is a little bit bigger. It's part of the Beanie Boppers line and they're so cute. So it's more of like a teenager. Oh, Colin found something else. More of like a teenager instead of just a kid. But she's brand new with tags. So cute. And... Oh, she's priceless. She is priceless. I can't find a price on her. Oh, a massive pterodactyl. Oh my, for $10. Oh gosh. A whole big bag of Tinker Toys for $6. You know I love these if you've been following my channel for any amount of time. Open ended play is one of my favorites. On the ground. We might have found a winner. 
Wait, can it move by itself? We're gonna have to put batteries in it and yeah, see. Even when, even when the battery, even when it doesn't work, it can still drive away. Yeah. Yeah, because you can still push it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh. Colin figured out how to turn him on, and he has batteries in him that work. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Look, point him this way. Point him this way. He's gonna take off. Oh my goodness, there he goes. Stop him before he gets run over. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's this banana from? Is it from, is it bananas in pajamas? Oh, this is banana number one. I need to know more about him. He can talk or sing or something in there. I'm not sure. I'm having some vague childhood memories flushing, flushing, <laughs> flooding back to me. Bananas in pajamas. If you know about this, tell me more. Let's go look for night. Finding all kinds of Care Bears around here. I really enjoyed Care Bears as a kid and my mom loves Care Bears. She extra loves Grumpy Bear though. From her childhood, that's the one that she latched onto. And there's a reason why, but I can't remember right now. But look at that. All kinds of adorable Care Bears. <gasps> Little boy, do you have a real snake around your neck right now? <gasps> In the store? They let you come in with a snake? <gasps> oh my goodness. He's friendly. Can I pet him? What's his name? Oh, his name is Friendly? I like it. I'm all about these pants. They look like they are vintage based on the tag. I don't know anything about honors. And they just have these delicate little white flowers. I thought those were strawberries at first. So cute. Look at that little waist. I mean, they could be like PJs. No, they're, they're, too, they're too cute to be PJs. Well, once you put them on, I don't think they would be big. Can you try them on? Uh, oh. Over your shorts, sure. Just, right now? Sure, right here, go for it. Oh my gosh. Well, if I had any doubts before, yeah, you just wear them with a little shirt like this and you have the shirt tucked in. All right. Oh. Try them all over my shorts because you're not going to let me do it in the... Too cute. I love them. I wish they were uh, a pink one, a pink tag, but they're not, but they're real cute. So I think they might be going home with us anyway. Let's split it. They're $4, right? Yeah. Yep. Colin has this exact shirt at home. We were just admiring it and it's... Eight dollars. Uh oh. In my oh, in his bubble space. Give him some space. I almost never let these poor children. What's for lunch? Oh my. Uh, look at clothing for themselves. Ooh, that's a fun color and such. What size is it? So they're enjoying a moment to just get to look at some clothes for themselves. Well, mostly everyone is. This guy's kind of just losing his mind. This is an adorable Under Armour sweatshirt. It does not fit anyone in my house, but $4, really good price. Oh, we're finding a little, a little vest here. Do you like this? Very cute little dress. Would be great for the fall season. Oh, Colin, your little pigs are cute. Hold on, Eli. That looks good, Charlie. It's a 10-12, so it's a little big for her, but she'd grow 10, into it, 12. and it's only $4. No, she said that was a 9 10. So, yeah, that can go to the cart, Charlie. This was made in Hawaii, a place that I'm desperately wanting to get back to, and it's just so precious. Charlie's going to lose her mind when she comes over here and sees this. It's a time I will. Okay. Well, we will ask your teacher when school starts. I love Jack Skellington, but no. How about you come here and see what I'm trying to show you, though? Mm. It's in great condition. It's $4. This could be your Christmas dress. Ooh, yeah. Charlie, this one says Mommy's Mini. I have to get that. I'm absolutely your... <laughs> You're my mini me? Yes! It is cute. All right. To the cart. It's comfortable. Eli found this like thin coat style thing. And it's a rain jacket, I think. It is like a rain jacket. Based on the pink zipper, I guess it's technically girls, but he adores the color pink. 
and I am so proud of him that he's like, I love this, I need this. It has a pink zipper, that makes it even more perfect. The inside's pink too. It's pretty awesome. All right, it can be yours. That's a good piece, $8 for that, and it's the Carhartt brand with the real tree print. That's a good one. The thing about taking your kids with you and letting them look at clothes is that you end up doing more damage at Goodwill than if you went by yourself, but it is a fun opportunity for them to get to pick out some clothes for themselves. So Eli is getting two pieces of clothes. Charlie's definitely making out like a little bandit. She's got like six or seven things in here. Well, we're back over by the dresses, like the women's dresses, my size dresses, and naturally I can't just walk past them, just like yesterday. So, this time I'm not quite so pushed for time, but pressed for time, and I am going to take a little meander. That's such a cute bathing suit cover-up. I already have a bathing suit cover-up, but I really do like that one. Oh, six dollars, do I need it? Do I need it? No, I don't. Do I like it? Do I want it? Yes, I do. I don't know, we'll try it on and see what happens. I don't know how much background noise you're hearing from my sweet and precious children, but uh, shopping with them is definitely a louder experience than um, normal. This is, I think, almost the yellow that I think it we had for our wedding. I think not quite. Think Goodness gracious. I can't even get my thoughts out with these guys with me. I love that you're gonna get to see the first half of this video without me shopping without my kids. And then you can directly compare it to this last half because uh, it's a different vibe for sure. So that's where we're at. Gonna try a couple things on and um, then we're gonna get out of here because Colin's about at his, his breaking point and he's done really good so far. So I don't wanna keep pushing him. So I, I found just a couple dresses I'm gonna try on and then we're gonna scoot along. LuLaRoe made Lulu. LuLaRoe made things like this. Wow. I'm going to try that on just for, for the Lula. fun of it. We were here so long. Now Brandon is here and checking on some stuff. Charlie loves this one. It's a little big, but that's okay. We could probably get a couple seasons out of it. She adores the color red, so I say it's a win. Now, excuse me, miss, so I can see the mirror. Thank you. This is my first dress that I am trying on. I enjoy it very much. I like this mustard yellowy color. I feel like it's gonna be great for the fall. And so, I think this one is a yes. Ooh, one of my favorites, Mommy's Mini. What I love even more is that when I found this on the rack, she was like, I have to have that. I love that she embraces the fact that she's my mini. I really like this dress. It's a sheen dress, which sometimes they are absolute hit or miss. Um, but it is listed as a 2X. The sizing with sheen is crazy. The only place I feel like it's just not gonna work is up here. It's just gonna pop open. I could like stitch something there, but I do like it, but I don't love it enough to want to invest that effort into it, I don't think. That's cute. That's a yes. I like the pattern of this very, very much, but it, it I just like threw on a pillowcase. There's just no like body to it or anything. So while it's pretty, it's going to be a no. Charlie absolutely loves this one. It's wicked cute. It has the little built-in shorts on the bottom and then kind of like the flowy skirt behind it. <laughs> oh my gosh. My fave brand, Universal Thread, and I am enjoying this one. I love the little detail around the bottom, love that it has pockets, I like the buttoning down the front. It's very loose and flowy. It is a tank top style strap, but because it is light, that does not bother me at all, so this one is also a yes. <laughs> and Charlie is still in this. She's talking about it being her picture day outfit, her back to school day outfit. She's loving this thing. The bathing suit cover up is gonna be a no. I really like it. It looks so cute on, but I would wanna wear it as not a bathing suit cover up. And Brandon was like, mm, that looks like a bathing suit cover up. And if he can identify it as a bathing suit cover up, that means other people definitely would be able to. So that's a no. These were a no, which I, I kind of knew even before I tried them on. I just, it was kind of for fun. This sadly was a no, really liked it, just fit wasn't great. And this was also a no. All right, that's a wrap on this Goodwill adventure. Definitely did more damage than I was intending to. 
but it's all right. We did a little back to school clothing shopping impromptu and they got their items for their fort as their reward for making good choices today. I found a couple dresses, so all in all, a success. We even found a husband along the way. We were shopping in there for so long that he got out of work and he oh met us over God. here at Goodwill. Oh. So here we go, home again, home again, and just in time because a storm is rolling in.